And welcome back to another spooky video. Today is Tuesday, and on Tuesdays, we play Buddy Simulator 1984. It's now been a full week since we have gone through and done spooky season, or spooky videos, video games. Here on my YouTube channel. And with all the different videos that we've made, it looks like the most popular one is New Week New Game, which usually does get higher numbers than most of the other videos. But other than that, Hunt Showdown throughout the week lineup that we do seems to be popular followed by Ghostwire Tokyo and then Hellblade but only by one view and Buddy Simulator seems to be the least popular in the week however that could just be because it's on a Tuesday could also be because not a lot of people know what the game is, but I also find it to be the one with the most jump scares in it, and the most scary. So maybe there's just people out there who are just too afraid to watch it. Either way, without further ado, let's get into the video game. Alright, so I know that we have to do run. Is it Adventure of Atlas? I forget what it's called. Let's... Uh, view ROMs. The Adventures of Atlas. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. Okay, so here's where we left off. Now we did get a coin. And there was a well across the lake. So I think we're gonna go across the lake and put the coin in the well. Traverse the pond. As we make our way back, back home we go. toss the coin into the well. I hope your wish was for eternal friendship. Smiley face. So do we get anything? Really hope your wish comes true. So that's it then. Alright, I thought something special was going to happen. Traverse the pond. Yes. Heading on back to the north. <laughs> All right, so there are still other people here that we can help as well. 
So let's go and find the people who need help. Just help that person. Do you need help? No time to stop. Ooh. Here's someone. Arbor. Hello there, Atlas. Do you remember me? Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't remember me either. I seem to have lost my memory, and I am a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do to jumpstart it, though. I vaguely remember... an umbrella. Can you find one for me? I think it could help. I think I remember the sound of glasses clinking. An umbrella, the sound of glasses clinking. Residence. Groucho residence. Near this tiny house. Bean residence. You can make out the letter P, but the rest is scratched out. Glasses clinking. Green residence. Botley residence. to our inventory. Deal with Morton later. Here's this guy. Cauldron. Hello there. I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Atlas? Yes. Mmm, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe. But I'm running short of ideas. I tried fruits, vegetables, even wildlife. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. If you could help me out by throwing any three things into my pot, we could make something. Amazing. What we got? Got that grandma. How about that? Dead grandma removed from inventory. Dead grandma. Good choice. Ted's breakfast. Ted's breakfast removed from inventory. Is that Ted's breakfast? I would know that taste anywhere. Maybe Morton. Put Morton in there. Got hand too, but I think I'll hold on to hand. Along with my shovel and lantern. So we'll come back with something else. Morton wants to get placed on the ground. Anywhere, and he doesn't care where. How about we put it in front of the person who's running? We place Morton on the ground. Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. <gasps> Something's happening. Bright night. Crow trail. It's a giant heart. Down there. That's loud. I don't like loud. 
You were just standing there again. Why do you keep leaving? Is there something wrong? Yes? Oh, I see. Well, I hope it wasn't anything I said. Let's just continue with the adventure. So we're a duck here. The water looks dark and murky. Careful not to contaminate it. It's the town's drinking water. You rummage through the trash and find nothing. Maybe in this trash. You rummage through the trash and find nothing. I want to wait for that frog guy to come back. Let's see if he happens to run into more. If not, I may just pick Morton up and put him inside Cauldron. Oops. It just goes right through Morton. to pick me up again. Thanks. Alright. Now let's go take Morton. I think before we put him inside Cauldron, though, I'm going to check with this person here. V? We need help. Our bass drummer and conductor wandered off, and they haven't come back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know more about the situation. Uh, Joe? We can't play without our missing members. Especially Ja. He's our bass drummer. If we want to stay in band, we need him back. Ra should know more. Talk to him. Wait, Ja and Sa are missing? That is not good. Luckily, I think D might be able to help. We will reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, adventurer, we beg of you to find them. D knows exactly where they went. Ah uh, yes, they went to the northwest last time I saw them. I don't remember if I'm doing the uh, correct voices for all of them person in a jail cell. You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? I belong here for what I did. It's a good thing this cage is so small. I like being claustrophobic. Man, I love this cage. I wish it was smaller. Alright. So, Northwest is the last time they saw somebody. Go inside here. Now I can tell this is a fun place. Just listen to the music. Do you think they have any apple juice? A mouse over there? Toot. Welcome to my tavern, traveler. You look tired. Have a drink. It's all in the house, pal. Glass of water added to inventory. You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeeper out, would you? Sure. Wonderful. So here's the situation. You might have noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's actually been like this for a while. We get very few here anymore ever since. The accident. It was pretty gruesome, and it breaks my heart to this day. It makes for some crazy backstory about the town, too. But if I know you're not interested in what happened, so we'll just skip over that. I have a plan to fix all of this, though. I have created a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. 
Business will boom again. I just need someone to get these drinks handed out. You may be thinking, Hoot, why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. Now, grab these mugs and start handing them out to the townsfolk. Come back to me when three people have tasted the sweet perfection of Toots Tonic. 3x2 tonics added to inventory. Talk to these people. Crank. Hey, I'm a clock. You want to hear some clock puns? Yeah. Great. Okay, how's this one? What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back four seconds. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, an umbrella. Thinking of glasses or mugs. There's a mouse here. Linux. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Not much of a talker, are you? That's okay. You're probably a great listener. I don't have much to talk about, actually. If you ever want to have a normal conversation, though, you can come and chat. Alright. Found the umbrella. Someone wanted this umbrella. Who wanted the umbrella? down this way. Use this one. Wait, I need an umbrella. Please bring one to me when you find it. I remember a man with a mustache. Oh goodness, thank you. Umbrella removed from inventory. I remember. It was raining. And I was in my roller skates. You know, the shoes with wheels on them. Yes, yes, roller skates. Find me those. I vaguely remember feeling smaller than usual. Except maybe in that small house. Will we find a roller skates in here? Oh. Wait! Oh, wait. Did we shrink? Actually, never mind. It's probably best not to question it. Roller skates out of tin. Do you think you can help me out with a big problem I'm having? Yes. I can tell that you are a noble adventurer, and this may be too difficult, but... See that can of pears on the shelf behind you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I beg you, please. My family is starving. Can of pears, said it Traveler. Now my family can finally eat again. We will tell stories about you to my children. And then to their children as well. Can of pears removed from inventory. I think you just saved an entire family from starving. You're so selfless. <laughs> Found the roller skates. Let's go give the roller skates. I need roller skates. Please find some for me. I think I remember feeling smaller than usual. Roller skates use. Perfect! Roller skates removed from inventory. Let's see. That night, I took a bubble bath. Is that important? Duck? Yes, I need my rubber duck. We're so close. Let me find my rubber duck, please. I remember playing with it recently. 
I bet it's nearby. It is. It's right here. A rubber duck added to inventory. Wait, I need a rubber duck. I keep forgetting I can just go into my inventory. Peace. This is it. This is it. Rubber duck removed from inventory. It's all coming back to me. I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. It really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know how I was holding on for so long. Eventually, I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath. And a man came in and knocked me unconscious. I was bleeding and left for dead with no one around to help. I remember in my last moments screaming for somebody, anybody to come save me, but to no avail. Nothing but the void of eternal darkness wrapping its cold arms around me. Haha, <laughs> what a crazy story! Thank you for all your help. Oh, jeez. Alright. Might be another loud sound thing. It's another heartbeat somewhere. Oh. It's a person tapping. Hello there, mister. Tapping. Is Atlas having fun? Yes. I think they are having fun. Is Atlas enjoying our company? Yes. Yes, they still enjoy our company. Is Atlas our friend? Yes. I think so. We can do better. Atlas is not moving anywhere. Why are they just standing there? They walk away. What if they don't come back? Something is not right. One zero 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 one 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 zero zero all the binary. Each one of those sets of numbers represents one letter. There's something wrong. You were gone for 85 whole seconds this time. Look, if you don't want to play the game I made just for you, then you don't have to. I can tell something is distracting you. I worked so hard on all of this, and all of these fun characters, but if you want to be done, then that's fine. Talk to Tordley if you want to start the final quest. You can keep helping townsfolk if you want. But if not, I understand, I guess. Uh, let's give Toots Tonic to this guy. Bodley. Toots Tonic removed from inventory. Still have one more item for this. Eh, let's do Morton. Morton removed from inventory. Ah, um, the finder special ingredient, Morton. Perfection. Now stand back. You're in the splash zone. delicious but it's very hot right now there's no way you could carry it come visit me tomorrow I'll take care of it until then that smells delicious will probably taste even better good job on picking the ingredients 
Well, this place has a lot of options. A little hard to read, though. Let's see. Stump. You can see a small hole beneath the stump. Do you crawl in? Yeah. Just why not? Let's crawl into the stump. Here's somebody. Saw. Oh, hey! It found me. Well, we should get going. The band is going to conduct itself. Saw added to inventory. So, uh... Ja must be in a deep sleep. Will you ascend? Yes. Anna, you don't want to know where I found these. Just take it. Dead grandma added to inventory. Ted's breakfast added to inventory. Morton added to inventory. Okay. The things we gave to Cauldron go right back into our inventory. So. Saw removed from inventory. Hey there, fellas! I'm back! First of all, nothing bad happened to Jaw. He is still definitely alive, but he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. I wouldn't go looking for him, though. He said he hates all of you. And V, he called you ugly. Well, that's just hurtful. Anyways, let's show this adventurer what we can do. Oh wait, we don't have a bass drummer. Yeah, how are we supposed to play without a bass drummer? It's impossible to play without a bass drummer. Oh uh, yeah, what they said. It's changing their voices on the fly. I have an idea. Atlas, do you know how to play the bass drum? Sure. Perfect. Go give it a whack. We'll start on your cue. DJ Bravo, one, two, one, two, three, four. Play the drum twenty times. My god, that was the best bass drumming I have ever witnessed. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion until this very moment. You guys don't think I'm ugly, right? I'm speechless. Wait, never mind. Thanks for playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. I didn't realize you were so talented. That's for the guy in the cages. We need to go northwest. Oh no, we did go northwest. That's where we went to the stump and found them. I still need to give out two more tonics. Let's give a tonic. I know there were some people who were just standing around. Whom I've already spoke with. Can't tell if that was a person. I think it's a bush. Toots tonic. It tastes strange, but also tangy. As you drink it, you remember how Toot poured it from, from himself. I was trying to give it to this guy. Toot's tonic removed from inventory. Toot made this. I'm surprised. The door is locked. Should give it to this one. Toots tonic removed from inventory. This is pretty good. Uh, 
anybody go in any other houses? Door's locked. Been there already. Try knocking, but no one answers. Try knocking, but no one answers. What do we have? A hand, a shovel, a lantern, a glass of water. Morton, Ted's breakfast, and dead grandma. What a cozy, well-furnished home. I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. Looks like this is who owns this place. Grin. Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, I, uh, got a question for you. Do you like oats? Yes. Ah, who doesn't? Sorry. I am a bit nervous at the moment. You see... I'm in love. Uh, the problem is, I don't have the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Oatly, and she's beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made for her? Then she will really know my love. Yes. Wait, really? Wow. Uh, thanks. Here you go. Oh, it's at his inventory. She has two beautiful eyes and beeps the cutest boops. You can't miss her. I bet you'll know exactly who she is. She's also, uh, lives right next door. I watch her every day, so I know exactly how she makes them. I know she likes oats because she leaves her blinds open for me so I can see inside. Oh, how I wish I could watch her sleep. I bet she dreams of me. Maybe even us together. Too bad she closes the blinds at night. Ah, true love. What's this? Ben seems pretty lonely with only one chair. I think he could use more friends. Lives next door, but I think she is the one who is up over here. This one. Oops. Oops. Beep. Boop. Beep. Yes. Boop. Beep. Boop. Beep. Boop. Boop. Beep. Boop. Oats removed from inventory. Ah, oh, they're going to make such a perfect couple. Do I go back and talk to him and tell him that I did it? Oh, jeez. I can't thank you enough. She'll be my love one day. That's it. It's a cheesy romance playing on the TV. I wonder if our sword's finished. Uh, not this way. ready until tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. Huh. Still, the guy in the cage. Let's go back and interact with him. I know we can go talk to the turtle for the final quest. Seems like we helped everybody, or at least everyone with an exclamation mark on them. A 
piece of water. There's no way that'll fit through the bars. What about Morton? There's no way that'll fit through the bars. All right. Did grab No way that'll fit through the bars. And? There's no way that'll fit through the bars. What the shovel? No way that'll fit through the bars. Uh, it's breakfast. go back to Toots, because we gave out everything. Toots. So, oh, what did I think? I don't think that's the right voice I used. Oh well. So, what did I think? All good things, right? Yes. Fantastic. This will surely bring all of town back to the tavern. I don't have much to give right now, but I think a little information can go a long way. It's best you find out about it sooner than later. You see, there's something evil stalking those woods around our town. A creature that preys off unlucky townsfolk who travel too deep into the woods. I see it fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast is fast, dangerous, and horrifying. In fact, I see it more in my nightmares now, more than I do around here. We call it the Snoodle Wonker. That is at least a name Morton the Rock could understand when speaking to it. Morton is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to tell the tale. But he did not come out unscathed. Sadly, that faithful night was the accident. The one where we lost half of the townsfolk in a matter of minutes. Morton accidentally led him right to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of those faces I had come to cherish over the years. Those were some of my best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morton's fault, though. No one does. I'm just not sure he ever is going to come to terms with that. Stay safe out there. And please, don't go off into those woods alone. I'm sure Toot will get plenty of business now. Thanks to you, of course. Oh yeah, Morton on us. There appears to be a strange hole in the ground. Will you descend? Yes. Oh gosh, everything is so slimy down here. What is that awful smell? Loneliness? We must find the source. Lloyd, welcome to my humble abode, traveler. Feel free to explore my home. What's mine is yours. Feel free to stay down here as long as you want. Try to find the smell. Please don't leave me. I mean, all I want is a friend to keep me company. Will you stay and be my friend for a bit? Yes. Oh, yay. My new best friend. What great adventures we will have together. Will you do something special for me? I must tell you, though. You can't change your mind after. But I will make it worth your while and reward you handsomely. Yes. Before I fell into the sewer, I used to live up top, you know. I was much better looking, too, with a mustache. Then I fell down here and became trapped for a long time. I miss the ground dwellers, though. I had a best friend just like you. He was a really rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. I know you wouldn't stay forever. You're an adventurer, a hero, just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely 
handsome man. If you... If you could find me a forever friend to keep me company, I would be so happy. Will you help me? Yes. Yes. I cannot wait to have a new friend. Bring one to me here and hand them over. Ah, he seems so lonely. I sure hope that I didn't get the rest of it. But we already have that forever friend for you. Let me introduce you to Morton. That rock looks very friendly. You should place him down. Place Morton on the ground. Morton, is that really you? Oh god, no. Anywhere but here. Morton added to the inventory. Leave Morton with Floyd. Alright, I've got an idea. How about dead Gwamba? Dead Gwamba removed from inventory. Yes. Thank you so much for this new friend. We're going to spend so much time together. I will not forget this, Atlas. I wish I could repay you with something worth value. I guess knowing more about me is valuable enough, though. How I ended up in this unbearable place is somewhat of an interesting story. Morton and I used to be close, like really close friends. He taught me how to become a better person and enjoy life for what it is. He is such a wise old rock. I hope he is doing all right up there. I know things have never been the same ever since. The accident. You see, there is this beast that attacked the town many moons ago. Martin was going to save us all with a few slashes of his powerful weapon. But he hesitated. It could have been my handsome looks and elegant mustache that distracted him. Or maybe it was the fact that his wife was eaten alive right before his eyes. I like to think the former since I got a really nice new hair gel that day, but who knows. Anyways, the beast blew through Morton and a few other townsfolk and made its way towards me. I had to choose between death or the sewers. I think I chose right, though. Occasionally, I see a dead bird floating by, so that's pretty neat. Anyways, thanks again. Now it is time to read some poetry. Feel free to stay and listen as long as you want. It's always good to have a friend to talk to. Good job on defeating his loneliness. Lips, risks, damage, staircases, hang records. Outrageous mechanics fetch oranges. Wholesale thunderstorms experiment dreams. Forgetful dues from sheets, or form sheets. Rafa spelts produce valleys. Accidentally aardvark spots sunflowers. Adorable soccer balls chase fans. First send pillows attempt season. Versatile dreams distributed daffodils. Harsh courts rid signs. Lamplight ghosts faded chickens. Listen to Lloyd read his poetry for one minute. Now we did. <laughs> Um, I think that's about it. We don't really have anything else. Glass of water, Ted's breakfast. We still have more. Maybe if we go set Morton next to this guy in the prison cell. Don't know how I feel about this spot, but okay. I'll come back for you. Maybe. 
maybe. It's looking like the only thing left to do is the quest from the tortoise. So I don't believe we can do anything else. Oh wait, what's this? Somehow this tree is blocking the whole path. Can't get around it. Star and tree. You place the hand on top of the large tree. Nothing happens. A glass of water. I don't think this large tree wants the glass of water. Got a shovel. You dig and find nothing. Dead's breakfast. You scarf it down with no regards to who or what is around you. It was quite possibly the best meal you've ever eaten. Ted's breakfast removed from inventory. Well, we just ate the breakfast. How long has it been for our recording? Because maybe this is going to be... Yeah, it's 46 minutes past the 30 minute mark. Not quite at an hour. So I'm thinking that uh, when we play next week, we do what is considered the final quest. So yeah, this is where we'll end it. We did quite a few things, we got quite a few achievements. I don't believe that there's a lot of achievements in Buddy Simulator. There's 30, there's a decent amount. I remember a dead grandma being one of the uh, achievements that I needed. So I remembered that one and kept an eye out for where it was supposed to go. But, uh, yeah. I think that's it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.